you know, my mom's so freaking nice. But then she just, like, she made me feel like the, like you should be so embarrassed if you're gay. And, like, it's a bad thing to be gay. And I just hate that. I really hate it. The reason I say she's so nice is because she helped me out today. The judge doesn't believe I live at my house. I post every day, every video I post. He says that he says there have been reports that you don't even live at your house, and you're incompetent. So you can't. You have to prove that you live at your house to stay out of custody, or else you because because you're incompetent. Two two psychiatrists have said you're incompetent, and like and so I had to go talk to this person that's like helping me be a disabled person um, to prove that I had a house. So I talked to her. I come to court and the judge says, you haven't proved that you live at your house. You just talked to this person. She needs to talk to your mom. I'm like, okay. And so I like, but he, so he says, I'm going to schedule you for a week from now. I was like, hell no. I was like, dude, COVID-19 is surging. Like, are you kidding me? And I was like, get her on the phone right now. Call my mom. It's easy. Um, so I don't know what happens is you, like, you realize at some point that this judge, like, it's not that he's a. It's not that I, I think he's a bad guy. I know, but I know that he despises me because, like, my lawyer wasn't there, so I'm stuck by myself. And I said, and the judge says, uh, "Is your lawyer here? Where, where's your lawyer?" And I was like, um, and I said, oh, I'm, "I'm just here to confirm my address." And he like, like you don't understand, like the daggers he shot at me with. Like his face was like scowl, like "Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you for talking to me." That's what it seemed like. Um, that's what it felt like, but my, I guess I had another lawyer who filled in for my lawyer and then we got my mom on the phone so I don't have to come back in a week. Thank God. <laughs>